G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Doing something a bit different today. We're going out with Dan. He's the owner of One Drop Cartel. He does drone fishing. Something I've never done and something I want to tick off my list. And we're heading out to some um, some beaches, putting some baits out, and we're gonna show you what rigs Dan uses, what drone Dan uses, everything he does, because I've got no idea. I'm the uh, the apprentice today and Dan's taking us out, so yeah, thanks Dan. Um, That's right. Yeah, hope you enjoy the video guys. Dan's got a pretty big resume. Uh, <laughs> 18 kilo Dewey, 10 kilo snapper, crazy stuff. You'd be happy to catch that. More than happy on a boat and to get it off land is crazy. So let's get into it. Yo. Just scoping out the area. Had a lot of storms lately, so uh, a lot of weed around, so we want to avoid the weed. Dan's just um, doing a bit of scoping out down there. It looks very snappery. Could this be the day? First drone snapper for me. Already puffed already, we haven't even dropped the line in the water. <laughs> Good fun, but no. the swell is cranking. Let's get some baits out there. through the, the gear that he uses to catch all his fish. So what do we got here, Dan? Hey, mate, I've uh, got a, a one, it's a Predator. It's a, a 50 to 80 pound rod. Um, fast, heavy action. Um, I use a 80 pound leader, um, 50 pound braid. I'm using a Finwa Mark S, MA 2011. Yep. Um, it's a good reel. I, I normally use a lot of the Speedmaster series from Shimano. Yep. I think I've given you a 20. Yep. Um, but yeah, they're all pretty good. We only want to be dropping about 350, 400 meters out. So plenty of line on the spool. Plenty of line, yeah. yeah. Um, How big's the rod? About a... Rod's 10 foot six. Yeah. So 10 foot six rod gets nice up over the breakers. Um, yeah, they also do a Berserker, uh, the Berserker rod. Yeah. I had a heap of influence on that rod. Um, did a bit of R&D and it's dual tip, um, 30 to 50 pound tip, and a 40 to 60 pound tip as well. Yeah, nice. So yeah. If, you, if you feel like you want a bit of a um, more of a challenge, yeah. you use a lighter rod, yeah. like, like all formats. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully nah. the predator gets it done today. Awesome, mate. Yeah, looking forward to seeing it in action. Sweet as. <laughs> Here's our uh, a rig we're using here. It's just like a standard Padnoster style. Start from the top, swivel, get like a meter and a half. The drone will connect onto that. Get to the mullet. A little bit of a squiddy thing there. Yeah, we got about two meters. A couple more hooks here. Some more mullet and then a sinker on the end. 
just like Pat and Oster for bow fishing, just heaps bigger, obviously. All right, Dan's going to run us through the most important part about a drone fishing is the drone and what he uses. So, what do you got, Dan? So we've got the Kudacopter uh, Trident. It's from Ultimate Drone Fishing. Um, Tony, get down there and have a yarn with him. He's tell you everything you need to know. Uh, this one's basically uh, one of the original tridents. It can lift about four and a half kilos in weight. Um, it's just a little rope that hangs off the bottom here. And then there's a little spindle that spins. And this just basically goes on there. You press a button and it just pops off. It's got a camera, a couple of lights. These are uh, specific to my drone because of the controller. The battery goes in the back, like so and um, gets all snug in there like that. And these are waterproof, so uh, if you do drop it in the drink, it doesn't damage the drone, you just gotta go out there and get it. So <laughs> I brought um, Bunyip along today. If we lose the drone, he can go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm made for swimming. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so just hook a bit of rope, put a loop. There's a little clip. Let's hook it on. Ah, She's done. Sweet. We're ready to roll. Drags off, most importantly. <laughs> yep. Man, that thing's blowing me. It's got some power. <laughs> Woohoo! Four hundred meter drop, my first drop in drone fishing. That ain't mucking around, and we're doing this by hand. Hope I don't get a stingray. <laughs> oh, she's just coming back home. There's is that. Dan's just setting up for the second drop. On first on his rod, we have two baits out. Second baits in the water, keeping the uh, tension on the line, so when the fish grabs, you'll know straight away and set the hook. No slack in there. And the cooter copter's coming back. an inquiry it hasn't taken off yet I'm just gonna let it grab it and run it's taking every every part of me not to grab this rod okay go 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 straight away less than 
two minutes. Is that head shake? No, not really. Could be a shark. Oh, yeah, that's shaking, that's head shakes. Yeah. <laughs> Bang, doggy! 400 meters. How are you going? <laughs> Do you want a um, gimbal? Yeah. Gimbal. People say drone fishing cheating. When the bait's out 400 meters, a lot harder than beach fishing in 30 meters, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, that's Dan is the man. See how you put the work in the rod? Right down low. See that? That's a So bigger, bigger chuck, like. That's it, and bigger, bigger. That's it. You're using your knees. Oh. Woo! Yeah, boys! First drop, one drop, one drop cartel. Down, bunyip. Woo! Yeah, doggy. Let's see that fucking snap on the stand. It's coming in now. How's your arms, mate? Full of, full of, uh, what do you call? I can't even Lactic walk. acid. Lactic acid on my head. Wow. Yeah, it's not a walk in the park, is it? Nah. But you're not on a rocking boat. You got <laughs> sand in your feet and you're about to put a snapper on land. <laughs> Hopefully it's a snapper. Yeah, it's coming now. Oh, I've seen a flash. Look at that! We're taking them home to Mama! <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good 80! <laughs> Every day! Woo! <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> oh, cheers bro! First drop! I'm selling the boat! <laughs> <laughs> that is fun! Woo! Drone fishing ain't cheating. That is the hardest fishing. <laughs> Pretty fun. <laughs> oh, that is insane. First drop. <laughs> oh, sick, bro. Well done. So I've repaid myself for being. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <I'll take laughs> Sleeping in, sorry, Sleep mate. In. You knew when they were going to come on. Oh. Get a photo of this beast. <laughs> bit of a humphead. A little bit of a humpy. That's a good fish, man. Yeah. Good seven, eight kilo. <gasps> we'll give him away. How bloody good. <laughs> Let's give him a measure. Snap up 400 hey, meters offshore. Hey. Yeah, and we'll put him It's a good fish. Oh, 84. Oh, no, he's in. <laughs> yeah, 80. Nose on there. 86. Touch it. 86. 80. 86 donkey. What do you reckon about that, buddy? Hey? <laughs> <Hey? laughs> How many drops do you do in a boat before you get one? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you work for it. Do you want me to do it or you want oh, to do it? Oh, you're right. Yeah. That's it. 
too. Oh, I am bloody stoked. That is insane. I didn't I did not think it would be that much fun. Like I didn't think it would be fun, but not that much fun. Like the reward for effort, like you really feel like you hurt the fish. And to catch them that big, 400 meters offshore, I just, I'm nearly speechless, pretty buggered. And it's probably about 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> Makes it all worth it. head down he's he's gonna bleed out into that bucket and then we're gonna release him into the esky <laughs> and we got some fresh fillets let's drop another bait down well done mate cheers so I get a lot of questions about this remote control unfortunately uh, this is a retrofit so I bought it off the internet, sent it, it, it arrived in Australia, sent it to South Africa, Cudacopter. They spent six months trying to get it fit into this drone. Um, yeah, well, it wasn't an easy feat by them, thanks Cudacopter. And then, uh, yeah, sent it back to me. So, yeah, unfortunately you can't get this controller and paired up with the drone. It's a, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, it'll be the only one ever done, but kudos <laughs> to Cudacopter. <laughs> The bait will be out in 400 metres and back in a couple of minutes. Keep an eye on my rod, eh? Yeah. I always do, Dan. Oh, that rod. Get me a snappy, you good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and we're off. Second bait of the day. Oh, that's shaking. Good fish. Still on? Yeah. Yes. I said 10 seconds. I just want to see his rod, Dan's rod bent over. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it. Does it feel like? It did shake a lot when you were running over to it. Dropped oh. him. You can definitely tell the hook up. I'm pretty sure my other camera's running. Hopefully we get it. You can see it just take and the, it just folds over. It's pretty exciting. Whoa. Yeah, here he goes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you confident to call it, Dan? Oh, it could be a shark. Yeah. Could have just got bitten off then. Oh. Oh, I might have been bitten off. Oh, so he had a bit of a burst in him, didn't he? Top. Bitten off. <sighs> bitten off. Time to re-rig. Drop it back out. Boom. Dan's called last drop. I think when it comes to drone fishing, when they call last drop, it probably is your last drop. You know, um, 
unless you catch a fish then. But we're gonna wind them in, check baits, and look at going out to about 500. See what's out there. See if we get one more. It's a bit of a front coming through here. Give the snapper a little weigh in, get the scales out, so out of interest. Uh, 86 centimeters, um, so it'd be, be close to eight kilos. And Dan, what are you calling? Uh, I reckon, yeah, about seven, uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half, well, we'll get it out. I reckon about 20. Seven and a half. Seven and a half kega. Fuck, I'm thick, dude. <laughs> Lovely, mate. Well, that's um, got the lines in the water, but I reckon that's probably a wrap for us. Um, first time I've done it. If you, you like this content, let us know in the comments if you want to see more of it. I'm pretty keen to put some more of this out. Big, yes, Bunyip. Big thanks to Dan, One Drop Cartel. Oh, I always put his links in. I'm always wearing the gear. I love it. So definitely jump on board. He's got a YouTube channel. He's got a shop at Wangara Markets and online. So check out One Drop Cartel, drone fishing. It's pretty bloody cool. You, you. Cut the guts open with this snapper and it it looks like he's um I think it's a little cobbler or something. Just swallowed whole. You could feel it in his gut, so we thought we'd cut it open. It's pretty cool, pretty gross. Sweet. <laughs>